Guten Tag alle. Heute werden wir nochmal über falsche Freunde sprechen zwischen Deutsch und Englisch. So, we are continuing our series. This is part three on false friends between German and English. So, we're going to get started and dive right in. Uh, the German word die Rente, which in English means the pension or uh, a retirement payment that you receive, But in English, we have the word rent, which in German is die Miete, which is an actual payment you make to a landlord for a place of residence. Das Rezept in German is a recipe or a prescription. But in English, we have the word receipt, and the P is not pronounced. Die Quittung in German, which is an actual written uh, recognition of something you bought or, or paid for. Der Sender in German is a broadcaster in English, but a sender in English is an Absender in German, which means person who actually sent the letter. Sensibel in German means sensitive, and then you have the word sensible in English, which means in German vernünftig or reasonable. Der Smoking in German is the word for tuxedo. But the English word smoking, which is, of course, the German verb rauchen, which means to smoke a cigarette. Spenden in German is to donate something. Uh, but to spend in English is ausgeben in German. So you're actually spending your money, for example. Der Spott, which is normally associated with a TV ad in German. Uh, but you also have in English the word spot, which is der Fleck. Uh, die Spur, which in German has the meaning of trace or clue, or sometimes even a lane, like a car lane. And then you have the English word spur, which in German is die Sporen. Der Stapler in German is a word for a forklift, and the stapler that we have in English is in German die Heftmaschine. Okay, so a few more. Der Star in German, this is a reference to a celebrity. But star in English, uh, or in German, is der Stern. It's an actual star in the sky. Uh, Staten, which in German means to launch, normally associated with uh, rockets. And then start in English is anfangen or beginnen, or even anspringen if you're talking about a car. Der Stern in German is a star, which we've already alluded to, and then a stern in English is the back of a ship, so in German das, das Heck. Uh, die Wand in German means the wall, normally an indoor wall, but a wand in English has the meaning of a Zauberstab in German. Uh, wa in German means was, but in English we have the word war, which in German is der Krieg. Um, winken, which is a German word for to wink. And then we have wink, which means zwinkern or blinzeln. Uh, die Kraft, which is power uh, in English. And we have in English the word craft, which is really in German Handwerk. Uh, Eagle, which in German is German word for hedgehog. And we have the word eagle, which sounds very much the same but means I'm an Adler in German, which is the word for the eagle. Die Fahrt, which in uh, German means the drive or the trip. And then in English, we have the word fart, which is der Futz in German. So those are just a few more of the false friends. And uh, vielleicht gibt es noch ein Video darüber. Mal sehen. Vielen Dank.